Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We need to talk about some stuff that came up tonight in FIFA Ultimate Team. It was just released a couple hours ago via Twitter from guys that watch the FIFA Ultimate Team pack database that we are getting some sort of a Team of the Season guaranteed pack. And it is a Team of the Season player that is guaranteed from the top five leagues. So Premier League, Bundesliga, Serie A, and La Liga uh, in League One. So I guess there's one, two, three, four. Yes, there's five leagues there. I can count. Okay, five leagues there. The major top five leagues in this game. Team of the season players will be available through that pack. And there's also, I guess I, I can show you guys the code. Here it is via Footwatch on Twitter. There's also a pack code in the game code for a pack that contains a Foot Future Stars player so it's like a guaranteed foot future stars and a guaranteed team of the season player from one of the top five leagues now we have a lot of sick content coming out here in the next couple days if these spcs come out along with the footies winners that could be coming out with uh those being richarlison and pogba being basically guaranteed as being the winners there's going to be some crazy crazy stuff happening on the market in terms of spc um requirements moving and being required and I want to talk about that stuff right now for a little bit as well but first I do want to focus on this pack a little bit because it is unsure that this team of the season guaranteeing pack right here this this contains a tots player we're not sure if this pack is actually going to come out in the store as a regular pack or an SBC rather that we could actually open up the pack and get one of those players from now I'm going to go back to my Twitter and show you guys a tweet uh, that I posted yesterday because of uh, a screen that I got when I logged into FIFA Ultimate Team. So this says subscribe to EA Access and play 15 days of FIFA 19 from July 25th until August 27th to earn an untradeable team of the season player. Now this could also be what that pack code stands for. It might not be that we're going to get this SBC or that pack as an SBC during footies. That pack might be for this EA Access promo. That's the only thing that I'm unsure about right now. And I, I, Originally, I thought that, that pack was just going to be SBC related, but then I was reminded of this, um, and it could be this. So since we had the Future Stars guarantee and this Team of the Season player guarantee put in at the same time, I'm very intrigued because usually when we see stuff put into the code, um, where was I at? When we, when we see stuff put into the code, back to Footwatch, when we see stuff put in the code right here, usually, like 90% of the time, that stuff comes out into the game the next day. That's why I'm really curious about this Premier League and this Team of the Season player pack, because usually we see those things come out the next day. But imagine if EA dropped a Team of the Season guaranteed SBC and a guaranteed Future Stars player on the same day? That would be some crazy content because they would also be releasing um, the footies Richarlison vote from Wednesday. I mean, it's going to be Friday today. They'll probably be releasing that SBC. Um, they would be probably up uh, refreshing the Serie A League SBC because that is the only um, one that has not been re refreshed from the top five leagues since we did get League One refreshed today with an insane Kurzawa card. Um, so... That's really uh, what I'm curious about to see what happens with this SBC and with this pack code. If it if this Team of the Season player pack really does pertain to EA Access or if they're actually going to release that out as an SBC on the game. But regardless, I want to talk about a few things in relation to these SBCs. So if you're somebody who has a uh, foot future stars player in your team right now, they've been low. Obviously, they're in packs. Their prices have dropped off a ton. But it might take another level of a drop because whenever you see, especially if this SBC is repeatable, whenever you see an SBC like this come out, you always see some drop in player prices because these players are going to be packed because people are going to do that SBC. As long as that SBC is somewhere around twenty to 30,000 coins, people are going to do it because you have a lot of cards that are pretty cheap down here in the 20, 15 to 20k range, but you also have a few that are over 100k. So if EA makes this SBC something that you can do for like 20, 30,000 coins. I think a lot of people would be interested in it. But then again, for some of the higher rated players, like this Havertz card is still a highly valued card in this game. 
you can tell there's already a little bit of panic selling coming on here because of this future stars SBC. Now, the future star, this one right here, the guaranteed future stars player, I would expect that SBC to come out today. I would not see why that SBC would not come out today. I fully th expect that one to be out today in FIFA. Um, even Vinicius Jr. has dropped off a decent amount, 639,000 coins. Um, and actually, you know, 15, 20K since that announcement has been put in the pack code. But watch some of these cards that are very meta that a lot of people use. Even though they're in packs right now, if you have one of them, um, you can kind of hedge your risk whether you want to sell or if, if you want to invest in them as well. Like this Jadon Sancho card, there's such a huge difference in price between this 90 rated card and this 96. This card fluctuates all the time and it's now down to 100 and, well, it's even lower. It was 158. But if you see this card, let's say tomorrow the SBC comes out and you see this card at like 100 and. 30 or 120,000 coins, that's a massive pickup because he should easily rise back up after the SBC is out uh, a short time after that. As people panic sell the card beforehand, thinking they're going to pack it in the SBC, they don't pack it in the SBC, and uh, prices go up for that. Now, I am hoping that we get this team of the season player pack from an SBC in the store. I really hope that we get this because that's gonna really help out some of the team of the season prices that have just been skyrocketing and going up and up and through the roof, through the roof. Ronaldo being one of those cards. What is he currently right now? Like seven million coins, seven, nine. He's just continually going up since he's been in packs. 6.4 and he keeps trending up. Same thing with the team of the year. It just keeps going up. So I really hope that we get that pack down below. That's gonna change the market as well. You're gonna see a ton of panic on the market. If there is this guaranteed team of the season player from one of the top five leagues released, you're going to see team of the season price, team of the season player prices crashing a lot, and also uh, presenting an opportunity for rebound as well. And also, you're going to have panic selling for that as well. So just be careful with these team of the season cards to see what happens. It all obviously all depends on the price of that team of the season guaranteed SBC. Um, but for that fact. We need to look at some possible investments and some possible ways you can get ready for that SBC or for even like a Paul Pogba footies or Richarlison footies SBC. So right now when we go look at some of this high rated stuff, a lot of high rateds are cheap, 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 especially the 85s and above. Now it looks like these 85s have gone up a decent amount. Uh, a lot of these were, most of them are 9,000 coins now with the exception of a few of them up here at the top. A lot of those were 7K earlier today. Some of the 86s have risen as well. A lot of those today were like 12K. We still have a few, but some of them are up, especially the Premier League ones. Um, so yeah, basically Premier League stuff. If you can get some Premier League golds in your club, even paying 11K for company, I mean, so many people are gonna wanna do a Pogba SBC. If he does get, which I mean, it looks almost like a guarantee. If Pogba wins that footies vote, his card is going to be insane in value because he already has this 92 rated headliner. They're probably going to give him a 94 or a 95. He's going to get a nice stat boost. And a lot, a lot of people are going to want that card in their teams because he's a very good player in this game. A lot of people like to use Pogba. He's also Manchester United and he's French. So he fits in so many teams. A lot of people are going to want to use that card and do that footies SBC. So the demand for that SBC is going to be unreal. It's going to be very interesting to see how EA prices it, but you want to be ready regardless. Company looks like a decent pickup to me. Just stock one in your club of some of these Premier League guys. I think Pogba will probably require three, two to three to four SBCs, depending on how they want to spread it out and how many packs they want to give back. Um, but I would assume that that SBC is probably going to cost you somewhere around Somewhere around four to 500,000 coins. Right now it looks like his headliner card on the market is 500,000 coins. And um, yeah, that card that's gonna be coming out is like a 95 rated. So I would expect that SBC to be, some, that SBC to be somewhere within the 500, maybe even four to 600,000 coin range. Um, when prices get inflated, maybe toward, towards 600,000 coins, maybe higher. Because so many people are gonna wanna do that SBC. It's gonna be crazy, crazy amount of demand. I bet they will require informs. I bet they will require team of the season players. I bet they will require high rateds. And there's only one problem with that situation. Informs right now. Since the uh, the inform upgrade SBCs have left FIFA Ultimate Team, 
informs are absolutely skying in price. They are so high, it's ridiculous. This is back to basically that area before, excuse me, where the team or the inform upgrade was not out. Look how high some of these inform prices are right now. 43K for 84 rated informs, 43K for 85 rated informs, 43K for 86 rated informs. All of these informs are like 40,000 coins. The cheapest inform that is 83 or above is 44,000 coins. Even 81s, that's a snipe right there. Even 81s are 40,000 coins. It is unreal. We need that inform SPC back, EA, because you keep requiring informs, but we don't have a way to get them. All people are doing right now is crafting and doing SPCs, and they're not getting informs from these packs. Um, they're getting other special cards and gold cards from doing the upgrades, and they're going and doing icon SPCs, which you need to submit informs for. So we need that Team of the Week SPC back, please, EA. But, I mean, if you guys have informs in the club, uh, hold on to them. Don't do any more SBCs until Pogba comes out because I do think they're going to require some informs for Pogba. I have an 87 rated Malinkovic Savage and a couple 84 rated informs in my club. I want to finish Maldini, um, but I'm waiting because I want to see what this Pogba SBC brings. If they require any informs for that Pogba SBC, um, that the inform prices are just going to stay insanely crazy. And I. I just remember my Twitch chat. I was streaming the other day on Twitch, and somebody somebody came into my chat and they said, uh, "Yo, I have 1.7 million invested in informs. You think it's a good investment?" And now that I'm seeing these inform prices after those informs have gone out of packs, that man, if you're in that boat as well, if you invested in informs, you are sitting pretty because a lot of people bought some of these 84 rated informs for like 20,000 coins, and they have absolutely doubled. Some of them have two and a half times themselves in a matter of days because the amount of people that are doing SBCs right now is ridiculous. Um, so I really hope that EA puts out the repeatable Team of the Week SBC again. We need that badly. Please, EA, put that out. Um, I know you're draining so many coins right now and you love it, um, but just for the sake of the game, please put that SBC out because people are going to pay 50, 60,000 coins for some of these informs if it's a Pogba SBC, um, and yeah, I mean, people aren't gonna be able to afford it and it's gonna push the price of the SBC up. So that's gonna be crazy. So informs look like incredibly expensive at the moment. But other than that, team of the season players, you can go get an 86 rated team of the season, Charbonnier, who's French, Easy Links, 13,000 coins, Malpai as well, 14,000 coins. So those are pretty cheap to get. Um, you know, you can get some other other guys like this Boo Striker, 87 rated for 14,000 coins, Argentinian, Acuna, 88 rated, 16K, English right back, Tavernier, 22K, Felipe center back, 21,000. I'm going to go buy a card like that right now, actually. I'm going to go buy a Felipe team of the season to put in my club for about 20,000 coins because um, if I need a team of the season card for Paul Pogba and an 86 rated squad... I'm just going to use a card like this and help out with the rating if I can find the team of the season. If I can find the team of the season, Felipe, which is not here right now. What's he going for right now? I'll pay like 24 if I have to. I'm just going to stash one in the club, 24,000 coins. All right, I lied. I'm not going to actually pay 24K. I'm going to try to get one on bid. But stock your club with a couple of team of the seasons as well because this SBC, I'm telling you guys, is going to be crazy. The Pogba SBC, the Richarlison SBC is going to push a lot of prices up. That's coming out today. So I would get on this sooner rather than later for the high rated golds, especially getting some of these golds like Ederson, Chesney, Verratti, just getting some of these high rated golds and st stashing them in the club. Even a guy like Pedro, he would help you a ton for a Pogba SBC being from Chelsea, being from Spanish, crazy good links with that card. So I just wanted to get on this video today and talk to you guys about these SBCs that could be coming. And of course, this pack code right here, uh, which is has the potential to make some big time market movements on the game. And don't overlook this boys, because SBCs are king right now in FIFA Ultimate Team. And they are continuing, This the, the potential for this weekend is for some more killer SBCs. We have upgrades out for three more days. 
Upgrade pack luck is insane for me. I packed some crazy stuff from upgrades, Team of Seasons, Modric, Lewandowski, all kinds of stuff uh, today even. So just be wary of these SBCs that are coming out because everybody's going to be focused on the SBC stuff. It's going to be the start of Weekend League. People are going to be buying stuff back after they panic sell. So if you're out there looking to make coins, there's going to be plenty of opportunities to flip cards back and forth um, when you see prices on cards dipping and then rising back up after an SBC comes out, yada yada, stuff like that. Um, so I wanted to hop on a video today, talk to you guys about that pack code, what we could see with that, and some more market movements, boys. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, smash the thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Account. Catch you guys later. Peace out.